This video is for week seven, and what we're going to cover in this video are two topics. One is charging, which is an additional watercolor technique, and to talk about color schemes and color relationships. So let's start with charging. Charging is a process whereby you blend two colors together while they are both wet. And what it gives you is a very nice transition from one color to the next and a blending section between them that transitions very nicely. When doing charging, the thing to remember is that you probably should mix your colors up ahead of time in the concentrations that you need them so that you don't have to be fiddling around uh, waiting for something or uh, having something dry out on you uh, while you're trying to get your next color. I've picked these uh, purples and reds because I think ultimately I want to show you how you might paint this section of an iris petal which has quite a bit of charging. You can see um, there's a little bit of yellow in this area here and then it kind of blends down into pink and then into these darks. So we're going to attempt to do some of that as a basic layer when we first paint this iris petal. So to get started, I've drawn three boxes on uh, this watercolor paper. This happens to be 300 pounds, so it's going to be very cooperative and not buckle on me when I put a lot of water down. The way that you do this is you make your wells of color first and load up your brush and starting at the top of your shape and the the important thing to remember here is that you must have this at an angle and let gravity do some of the work because just like a flat wash we want to have a puddle in the uh, within the shape itself because in that puddle is where your mixing is going to take place so I'm going to clean my brush and then I'm going to go into the violet and I'm going to start to drop violet paint into that red and I'm going to start pulling it down so that we don't end up with a lake but that we end up getting a nice blend between the red and the violet. And I probably have a, quite a bit on here now so I'm going to take some of that out of there. And then I'm going to add more violet down here where we want the real violet to be and just touch the blended area and then start to pull that down. And there you have your charging uh, process. Now you can do this in a variety of ways. I think I probably want to angle this up a little bit more. Since you're going to be working with your watercolor block, uh, you can put something under it and you'll have a nice support. process. Now we could start light if we wanted to by starting with a little bit of wet, just damp paper at the top and creating a tiny little puddle at the bottom edge and then take our color and drop it into that bottom edge. And gently dry, dry your brush and pull that light area into the dark area then bring it down just having a little bit of a puddle in there all across the bottom and then you can go back into your violet and drop violet in pull it down So this area becomes your mixed area, your blending area, and then finally put your violet in at the bottom edge, clean your brush, and pull it down for the rest to fill the rest of the shape.
here you can see we've got quite a bit more blending than we did here. You can go back into this again if you want to. Um, I ran out of red. Make sure you have enough color to keep you going. So I could conceivably now that this is a little drier I could go in and do this just as a graded tone and blend it into what's there. So you use this charging as a, as a basis for, um, you know, getting your work uh, uh, going a little bit faster than it might. Um, here I could turn this around. And if I wanted to, I could add a little bit more violet to the bottom. And then just blend it out. So you should experiment with this and see what you can come up with. But it's a, it's a method whereby you can um, get your color down relatively quickly. You need to feather it a little more. Just dry out your brush. Don't clean it necessarily, but dry it so that it uh, it'll pick up in the feathered or in the area where you want to blend. Just very light touch on the brush. You know, barely touch the the um, paint so that um, you're not picking up too much. Okay, let's see what we can do with this iris. I did a quick drawing of the basic shape and what I'm going to do here is um, slightly dampen the area and you can do this charging in a, in a series of steps you don't have to do it all at once you can do some and then let it dry and then do another layer uh, where you need to blend things so I'm going to just um, do this side first. So I'm going to take a little yellow and while this is wet I'm going to lay a little yellow in here. And bring my pink in into this area and let it merge with the yellow. and then pull this down to fill this space. I have a diluted uh, combination here of Windsor Violet and uh, um, Permanent Rose. And what I'll do here now at the bottom edge is a little diluted Violet and charge that into the bottom edge. If you see any lakes, pick them up. You can always go back in later. Now we all let that dry. Oh, I want to put in some of this blue along this edge here. Now this looks a little dark right now, but in fact, this will um, actually appear lighter once we add more violet to the uh, blade of the petal. And I'm going to soften this edge because I haven't yet done any transition work on this other side. So that's our first step. We can let this dry and then uh, we can go come back into it and maybe do another uh, charge. So we'll put this aside for now.